In this video, we will go over the nursing curriculum and your academic planning worksheet in Pen & Touch, which is used to track your progress through your graduation requirements. Traditional BSN and Accelerated BSN students follow the same nursing student handbook. The BSN Nursing Student Handbook can be found through the link shown here. Familiarize yourself with the policies that all first and second degree students in the division must abide by. Within the handbook, you will also find a link to degree requirements and a sample plan of study for accelerated students. This will help you understand your required nursing courses, which are taken in a sequential order. All students will have received a plan of study from admissions. Please follow this plan of study, especially if you have also been accepted into a master's program. The plan of study can be updated as needed with guidance from the director of the graduate program you have been admitted into. However, please initially utilize the plan of study you have received from admissions. The Academic Planning Worksheet is a tool on Pen & Touch that will allow you to track your progress through the program. Your faculty advisor and the advisors in the Office of Academic Affairs in the School of Nursing also have access to your worksheet and can update it accordingly. They will also make your worksheet official for graduation checkout purposes. To create your Academic Planning Worksheet, go to Registration and Planning and then Academic Planning Worksheet. Click on Create New Worksheet. Select Undergraduate for Career then Nursing Undergraduate BSN for Desired Division. Press Continue and choose the School of Nursing 2nd ABSN BSN MSN 2019-2019B selection. Then press Confirm to finish creating your academic worksheet. Now we will open your academic worksheet to review all of your requirements. The academic worksheet is separated into sections. On the left side of the worksheet, under 11 Course Unit Waiver Policy, you will see the general education courses that are waived for second degree students. Since you have already received a bachelor's degree, accelerated students are not required to complete the general education requirements that traditional first degree BSN students completed. Admissions will have your transcripts from your previous post-secondary institutions and will post the 11 course unit waiver. Since you do not have any general education requirements to complete, accelerated students will focus on the requirements for the nursing major. While the academic worksheet lists these requirements by groupings, the sequence of when you complete these courses can be found in your academic plan of study, which can be found in the student handbook as well as your orientation canvas site. The nursing major requirements must be completed in a specific order and for a letter grade, so please follow your academic plan of study. If you have questions about these requirements and your plan of study, you are always welcome to speak with your faculty advisor, program director if you submatriculated into a master's program, and or any of the advisors in the Office of Academic Affairs. The first grouping of nursing major requirements are your nursing foundational courses. Nursing 159, and Nursing 103 will be taken in the summer. As you can see, once you complete these courses, they will be filled in with a black dot. For a list of other icons you may see on your worksheet and their respective meanings, hover over Icon Legend on the top right hand of the screen as shown here. For more information on how to update your academic worksheet, refer to the resource guide in the curriculum section of this Canvas site. The next section of requirements are your nursing clinical courses. Again, review the academic plan of study to determine in exactly which semester you will be completing each of the clinical courses. The only requirement in this grouping that does not need to be taken in a particular semester is your case study requirement. Students can register for their case study course in any semester after the first summer. Case study courses are topics-based and a list of potential case studies to choose from can be found on the Penn Nursing website. Note that not every case study is offered in every semester. Moving through the requirements, the next section includes your science requirements. Nursing 61, 62, 63, 65, 131, and 132 
are all courses that you will have taken prior to coming to Penn. Once admissions receives your transcripts with these course equivalents and their respective grades, we can post these transfer credits to your transcript and academic worksheet. The only science requirement that you will take at Penn is Nursing 165, which you will complete in your first summer. It is important to keep in mind that students must successfully complete Nursing 165 before entering into clinicals. There are also a number of non-clinical courses that students must complete for their degree. Let's review each of these. The first one listed is your health policy requirement. The courses that can be taken to fulfill the policy requirement can be found here in the student handbook. Students must choose one of these courses to fulfill the health policy requirement. Students can complete this requirement in any semester after their first summer. We typically advise that students complete this requirement the spring semester of their first year. However, you can certainly take this course in another semester. Students must also complete a Statistics for Research and Measurement course. As an accelerated BSN student, you will have completed this requirement prior to coming to Penn. Again, admissions will post this credit to your Penn record once they receive the official transcript from the university in which you completed the course. Moving along, students must complete Nursing 547, entitled Scientific Inquiry for Evidence-Based Practice, in the fall semester of their first year. Note that the prerequisite for Nursing 389 in the fall of your second year is Nursing 547. In other words, you will need to successfully complete Nursing 547 before you can take Nursing 389. The fourth non-clinical course required of students is a healthcare ethics course. The courses that can be taken to fulfill the ethics requirement can be found here in the student handbook. Similar to your health policy requirement, we typically advise that students complete their ethics requirement in the spring semester of their first year. However, students can complete this requirement in a different semester if they prefer. The final course needed in this section is your research inquiry-based service residency requirement which is completed with Nursing 389 in the fall semester of your second year. To round out your nursing major requirements, students must also complete a nursing free elective. All nursing courses are accepted for the nursing elective requirement. Courses that begin with NURS are considered nursing courses. To be considered for a nursing elective, the course must be taken for a letter grade and may not already fulfill another requirement for your ABSN degree. If you notice a red plus sign next to any courses on your worksheet, this means that the course is being used to fulfill multiple requirements, which is not allowed. Speak with your faculty advisor or advisor in the Office of Academic Affairs to find another unique course to fulfill the requirement. For those students who have been accepted into a graduate level program or are planning to apply, you may count a course from your graduate program for your nursing elective. Please speak with the program director for the graduate program you are interested in to find a suitable course. You might be nervous about all of the boxes you have to fill, but the curriculum is designed to let you move through at a reasonable pace, and your faculty advisor will help you plan your academic journey. So, before you know it, your worksheet will be complete. 